Welcome to the tutorial on making shadows on a floor. So what we have here is two layers, our wood texture layer and our grid texture layer. We'll add a new layer that will just be all white so that we can see our grid layer a little bit and then we'll just move that grid layer down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create basically the lines on the floor of where the walls are and we'll create a new layer with a transparency background we call new layer there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire image so I'll select that entire new layer there then I'm going to hold down my control key and make another box here and again holding down the control while dragging is going to erase from the selection and then I'll just adjust these this box or whatnot to make it a little smaller and once I'm done fussing with that I'll fill it in with a black line and now we got our outside perimeter of our floor that'll be our new uh, our new shadow there. I'll then create another layer let's just call it red walls or red area walls I'll be for our build in our right hand corner here. Select that layer. And then again, rectangle select tool. I'm going to draw a box where my walls are going to be at. And see how I'm making it big like that? That's because I want it to only be about 13 pixels wide. So I'm going to go to the tools option, go down to the size, make it 13 pixels, and then I'll just drag and move it to where my outer wall is going to be. And I'll make the rest of the L shape and stop where the doorway is going to be. Again, I'm going to go down my size, select 13, and then again click and move it so that it all comes in as one L shape. And then we'll fill it in with black. create a new layer. This is going to be for our blue section of our floor area or our blue walls. Again, it's going to be all transparent. Again, I'm going to draw a rectangle where my wall should be. And again, what I'm doing when I'm drawing these lines is I'm going back and forth from Second Life to this grid and I'm just you know looking at my build where's my grid lines coming back here you know adjusting them moving them around all that good stuff I'm trying to draw these lines as well so that they take up the entire thickness of the wall And you'll notice with all these backs as I'm changing their size to 13 and adjusting them. That way I have an even shadow on all my walls. And I'm going to fill it in with black. And now I have all my three different layers for all my shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these layers because there's a good chance I might get all done with this and and want to change them or move them around a bit so no sense in redoing work right and I whoops made that one twice that's why I deleted it I'm gonna move these copies up so that they're all together and then I'm gonna merge them down or first I'm gonna click on the icon there sure that my old layers aren't visible anymore. If a layer isn't visible, it won't merge down. So I'm going to merge this one down. Merge the two down. Now I have one layer with all my walls drawn. So now as soon as I'm done with that, I can turn off my grids and then go up to filters and I'm going to do a Gaussian blur on it. And let's just change it to all 35. 
Now you can slide it, make sure that it looks okay. All that good stuff. Just hit okay. Now there's our shadows. We're going to move this layer up above our floor texture. Now you'll notice how the floor texture is really big. Uh, that floor texture is 512 by 512. So what I actually do need to do is make it into smaller title tiles, um, being that we can't repeat this texture. So I'm going to slide this number of segments to 4, hit OK, and see how it, it basically tiled that big picture into you know, a 4x4 four four grid there. And then I'm just going to save it as my PNG, and we're all done.